Hey friends, uh, this is OSP Pro. I know guys have been take I had taken some good time with that actually making for you guys videos, but thanks to God I'm back. I've been making some several systems for you guys, and I've come up with new stuffs. So I believe this time you're going to enjoy it. Now to all of you guys, most of you guys happen to ask me questions on my YouTube channel. On videos that I happen to make concerning uh, an individual basic uh, uh, PHP and most of guys also happen to ask me uh, concerning uh, databases now I happen to come up with new stuffs now most of you guys happen to ask me in VB fine the other system last time I made for hotel management system it was made in Microsoft Word so is what happened to us but i discovered that uh, actually it needs us also to bend in database so i'm uh, happy to come up with access which you are going to bend into so um, the first video after i'm going to show you today or the first video i'm making at the moment is to make you prepared with the interface design so that uh, after then i will just take you straight into the coding and embedding in the database so this is what I simply say we are going to have today. Just hotel management system and it's going to be part two. So if you remember the other first video made last time, it was of part one where with that database we just shown kind of interface when with the one known as the list box. So let's start up. So this is my VB 2015 that I'm happy to use. And this is my simple interface. So I just going to make sure that you guys you really have with you uh, make sure you really have this interface design just make sure you use uh, what known as here uh, this uh, label yeah this is a list box then just what you're seeing here this is just a simple label uh, this is a label then this is one known as uh, this one here it is a text box this is a this is list box and then just I uh, make this one to be text box you get if you try to cross check here down I also have this stuff around me so uh, make sure you already have your stuff like this because I remember happened to make this stuff video for you at first for uh, the other part one of the other video we happened to make uh, with that uh, the with the codes and everything so this time around we are going to be using one on us uh, access to the mini uh, visual basic 2015 so if you're using visual 210 8 and above we shall be in the same platform so that you can access the database so don't forget about the we are making up coming up with calculator simple calculator and our exit button so just make this exit this is a button double click on it and when and when you happen to double click on the exit button just add for me this piece of code called me dot close and that's all for the exit button so make sure that the interface that design is done for you all so that we can always come up with everything so if you shake down that's what so far we have for all of the interface part of it and when you look this side this is what I happen to use for my stuff so when you come up in the calculator if you try to click here this is the property I happen to use and if you go further that's it so let me just try to run out and I try to cross to show you how the stuff will happen to work so if you happen to click on run so that's how it's going to pop up Mine's going to pop up in the center. No, yours may not pop up in the center uh, because on how you happen to make up your stuff. But I'll show you how it is to be made. I'll show you how to make it out. So if you cross check here, that's how so far my stuff looks like. If you try to cross check all parts, if you happen to run it, it should be looking like that. If you try to cross check. So I just want to design the interface very fast as I come up with a part of the coding because we shall just need to make sure that we make our interface 
As long as someone happened to click a total, we should be in a position to calculate that total. And also the subtotal then should also be generated for us the tax, which I need to add another text box here later on. So uh, I think this will be the simple start for everyone who is interested in this uh, system. So make sure at least the interface is done so that when you happen to come back for the coding part of it, my friends, you're already with me on the same platform. So I think this is going to be uh, the end of this uh, video, short video for now. I hope next time we'll come up. I'll be showing this video part by part. So we may take approximately like uh, three to four lectures concerning it so that you come up with a complete interface and maybe you come up. So I just expect to do this interface. This is a text box. This is a label. This is a button. This is a text box. These are buttons. Just that's all then with the labels down here. This one is a panel. This is a list box. And then this one is a text box. Uh, that's it. Then make sure that this is a label. That makes a label. Then this is a button. So make sure this one is a button. And that's a label. So this is also a label. I mean this text box. And then this is a label. So make sure you have that part with you. So that by the time when I happen to come in for the coding, you are okay with the system part of it. So my friends, I wish you a nice time. For all of you guys who are interested in my system, please make sure the interface, the part of this uh, system you are watching is done with you. Because when I happen to come in for coding, we shall just uh, start with a calculator to make sure our calculator is working. We shall show you code by code on to come up with that calculator. So for, for now, I happen to simply say that maybe let us meet next time. But please for not forget to share this channel, share this video to all your friends. Love you all. Thank you. God bless you.